In this video, we'll talk about power series as functions. Consider the function defined by f of x is equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n. This can also be written as 1 plus x plus x squared and so on. When we think of this as a function, the variable x becomes our independent variable, our input variable. So to figure out the values of f, we can plug in numbers for x and evaluate. Please pause the video and calculate f of one-third. f of one-third is equal to one plus a third plus a third squared and so on. This is a geometric series. So it adds up to the first term, one divided by one minus the ratio of one-third and that simplifies to 3 halves. Next question, what's the domain of f of x? We can think of the domain of a function as the values of the input variable x that give us a real number as output. Please pause the video to write down your answer for the domain of f of x. The series, the sum of x to the n, converges when x is between negative 1 and 1. So for these values of x, we get a finite real number as our answer for f of x. Also, the series diverges for other values of x. So we don't get a real number answer when we plug in values of x less than or equal to negative 1 or greater than or equal to 1. Therefore, the domain of f of x is the set of x values for which negative 1 is less than x is less than 1. Or in interval notation, we can write this as the interval from negative 1 to 1. And in general, the domain of a power series is exactly the set of values where it converges. By a closed form expression for f of x, I mean an expression that doesn't involve a summation sign. I can write the sum of x to the n without the summation sign by using the geometric series formula. The first term is 1 divided by 1 minus the common ratio of x. This holds for all x values between negative 1 and 1, as usual, where the geometric series converges. Therefore, I can write f of x as 1 over 1 minus x for x values in that interval. Notice that if I just looked at the function g of x equals 1 over 1 minus x out of context, it would have domain spanning from negative infinity to 1 together with the interval 1 to infinity because this function g of x is defined for all x values that are not equal to 1. So f of x and g of x are not exactly the same function. They have different domains, but they are exactly equal on the interval from negative 1 to 1. And we say that the function g of x is represented by the power series, the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n. If we want to be more precise, we can say it's represented by this power series for x between negative 1 and 1. We can think of the partial sums of this series, sum of x to the n, as a way to approximate the function 1 over 1 minus x with polynomials. Please pause the video and write out the first few partial sums. Your answers should have x's in them. s sub 0 is just the 0th term 1, s sub 1 is 1 plus x, and so on. s sub n is 1 plus x plus all the way up through x to the n, an nth degree polynomial. In this figure, I've drawn the function 1 over 1 minus x in blue, and I've drawn the first partial sum, the linear function 1 plus x, in orange. Notice that these two functions are close to each other when x equals 0, but get farther away from each other when x is far from 0. In this graph, I've added the next partial sum, s2, which is a degree 2 polynomial, a quadratic. Here I've got partial sums through s4. 
And here I've got partial sums through about S12. The original function, 1 over 1 minus x, is here in blue. I'll mark over it. And you can see that these partial sums are becoming very good approximations to that original function on the interval from negative 1 to 1. Now outside that interval, for example, for x values below negative 1, our partial sums deviate wildly from our original function. I want to show one more graph. In this graph, the function 1 over 1 minus x is shown in blue, and the graph of the power series, the sum of x to the n, is shown in orange. The blue function is actually obscured by the orange function because the two functions are identical for values of x between negative 1 and 1. The only difference between these two functions, as discussed before, is that the function 1 over 1 minus x is defined for all x values except for the x value of 1. And that's why we can see the blue graph even when x values are less than negative 1. However, the function given by this power series has domain in between negative 1 and 1, and so it only exists here in between those x values. In this video, I talked about representing the function 1 over 1 minus x with the power series, the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n. These two expressions are equal for x values between negative 1 and 1, where the power series converges. I also used a graph to give an idea of what this equation means. The partial sums, drawn in various colors, give excellent approximations to the original function, drawn in blue, on the interval of x values between negative 1 and 1. Since the partial sums are polynomials, this gives us a way to approximate this rational function with simple polynomial equations. The idea of approximating functions with polynomials is a very important idea that we'll see again and again.